way on factories yay but look at that that armory could not be placed in a worse spot it is going to be preventing any mechs from getting out why did i put it there if i put it here no problem who cares about the supply to you blocking off but no I, I i built it there and here i take out the rocks which might be one of the stupidest ideas i've had um, it is not good against her. Now he can get right into my base. But I felt like I had no choice because there was no way for my... In order for Seasons to get out, they would have to go down, around, up, over to here. So I figured here would be best. Here we see the Banelings coming in. And no, they cycle back, but I did not stop and I did not siege up, so I wasn't able to take advantage of that bad, uh, that fault right there. So he's able to take out almost all of the infantry, no problem. But I still have quite a few tanks here and a few Vikings, so I'm going to continue on with the push. And of course, I'm going for the expansion here, but there are more Banelings on the way. And they're able to take out all but one siege tank because I don't have any armor on it. And then in come the mutas. Uh, that is way too many mutas for my Vikings to take out. If I did have Thors, though, that would have been a lot easier. Three Thors would have been enough to take that out, I do believe. So does he have upgrades on it? Just uh, one damage upgrade. So I have nothing left but these medevacs which I'm just allowing to let die apparently because I don't like them ugh there we go more finally a Thor 27 and a half minutes in and now I get my first Thor what am I doing and yes I did allow all those medevacs to die and I'm completely oversaturated on my expansion I'm completely mined out in gas on my uh, main and there I'm completely mined out of my main entirely leaving massive amounts of SCVs with nothing to do and no place to go because I have a 30 minute mark but then again I'm not getting mine and I still have SCVs just hanging out Oh my gosh, I don't I don't know if I was drunk, I don't know if I was sleeping, I don't know what I was doing in this game. I say that as if I'm usually better. But he's getting 20 more Zerglings. Those Banelings have been absolutely cost effective for him, as have been the Creep Tumors. The Creep Tumors have really saved him in this game. And no, it doesn't look like the, the Vikings are going to make it. Oh, 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 look at that. All those Banelings just to take out one Thor. I think that was not a cost-effective way for them to go. And I do believe that he spent more minerals and gas taking out the Thor than it actually cost me to make. Uh, so Thors, once again, a great, even though they, even though they die uh, pretty easily because they attack so slow, they are such a great counter to the Banelings. So after uh, three or four tries, I'm finally able to take out the expansion here. Moving into his main because I'm a dumbass. And more Banelings on the way. How much will they take out? It's like everything. Everything. Banelings just so good right now against me. And the Viking goes down because I don't pay attention. SCV is trying to drill through destructible rocks. It's still going to take them a while, even with all these SCVs, which may, always makes me laugh when I see people go for the destructible rocks with just the one SCV. Look how long it's taking with all these SCVs. How many are there? Uh, that is, what is that, 14, and it's still going to take this long. But I do move more SCVs there simply because they have nothing else to do. But because he, because of this creep right here, I had to move all my SCVs up. So he was able to see it and sent his Zerglings in. 
And of course, I did not back them with any army because I don't have any army left. Because I'm down to just 140 minerals. I even have these Thors. Even though Zerglings are the counter of the Thors, SCVs aren't going to do crap. Here I finally am like, I, I tried to attack him, it didn't work. Uh, so I'm starting to run away. Only one SCV survives. And it was just a slaughter. Looking at that now. Uh, I am completely mined out of everything that I have. Uh, he is operating off just the one base, but it is a high yield base. So there, I finally moved my orbital command. I'm trying... Where is that other one? Here it is. It's lifted off. I'm going to try to move it down here because I don't think he can see me there. Mule's going down. And where's that rally point? Oh, good lord. Um, I have no idea what I was doing in this game. But it was not uh, anything smart, I can tell you that. So look at that. I've already taken the lead in the mineral income thanks to these mules. Thank you, mules. Uh, even though he's got the high yield expansion and has been operating for quite some time. Um... The, the the meal's just so good. I don't know why anybody gets anything else. Uh, normally I would put a planetary fortress at this base, but I was forced to lift off my orbital command, so I really had no choice but to leave that there. Creep tumor, it still has energy, so it could easily spot this, and there go the zerglings. Backing that up, he can see that from there, I do believe... Yeah, he can easily see that. Thanks to the Zelnaga Watchtower. That I let him have the entire game. So, I do have uh, up to 1600. I did spend it all almost immediately on mech. Uh, I did lift off that fortress, or uh, factory, sorry, and I moved it uh, down uh, to where the command center used to be and training more and more Thors out of there. But of course, I'm still moving across the creek because I never got a raven. Build a tech lab. Get one raven. Just one. Look at that, 200 gas. I could have afforded that for quite some time. And here, I'm stupid. And instead of just assuming that, because I did not know that I actually had the lead, really. Even though he's got... He's had this much map control this entire time. I had the lead with these three Thors and the Marauder guarding uh, my orbital command. But he's able to uh, instantly amass all these Zerglings because he saw the Thors and he takes them out and I am screwed. If I had kept them here, I could have built a bigger lead. Uh, but I simply assumed that because he had the map control, he had so many bases going. So in come the Zerglings on my only mining base, and I am forced to GG. Um, you know, when I played the game, I thought I was completely outclassed. I will be honest with you. Um, but looking back, uh, he did not have a lot of things that I assumed that he did have. And when I attacked, I saw that he did not just have an army somewhere else on the map. He actually made them while I was attacking, and I was really slow. Uh, thanks to the creep that I never took out. So once again, ravens, 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 just get one. Um, I don't like uh, people using scans on the creep tumors. You know, um, and of course get the Zonaga Watchtower. If he hadn't had that Zonaga Watchtower, I could have kept the base here until um, he used that creep tumor, which it didn't look like he was going to be doing anymore. It looks like he was done with the creep tumors. Uh, so, quite a few lessons learned from this game. Uh, number one, armor replacement. Creep placement, number two. Number three, ravens. Number four, uh, I'm done counting. That's what number four is. Okay, so I hope you guys enjoyed the game. If you liked it, hit the like button. If you disliked it, hit the dislike button and let me know why. I always want to improve. Uh, that's why I even do these, so I can improve at StarCraft 2. 
If you want to see more from me, hit the subscribe button. I do post every day. Uh, hope to see you guys next time. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope you laughed. Hope you learned. See you then.